Most of you know some of this, but I need you to pay attention to it, okay? Daughter, please do me a favor and lower that, lower that for me. Or just pause it. Okay, get your stance. Okay, so my son, my son doesn't know, Coach Joel doesn't understand what I'm going to do, but he'll know right now. First of all, put your hands up. I'll put your hands down for a moment. When you are using your elbows, your elbows is to cut the thinnest part of the skin with the hardest part of the bone, meaning his eyelashes, his nose, his mouth. Forehead, I don't really like too much, but those are the parts you're really hitting. Cheekbones, nose, eyelashes, the mouth. That's what you're cutting with. You understand what I'm saying? So when you're elbowing, that's what you're going for. You got it? Because it's thin, it's, if, you, if you touch yourself, right, you feel there's a real, there's a short, thin, of, thin layer of skin that's covering that hard bone. So it doesn't take much to get cut there at all. That's why a lot of fighters go straight for those cuts with the, with the elbows. And a lot of old fighters that have been fighting, they have a lot of wear and tear. So even a punch can cut it open. You know what I'm saying? Now I am gonna tell you, it, it's just things proven fact that that does happen in fights, okay? So um, knowing that, you have to understand that an elbow is not your form, an elbow shot, is not your bicep. An elbow shot is not you throwing your whole body like a retard. An elbow shot is hitting with the elbow point. The point of an elbow. So the patty cake way of doing it is having your hands up and touching something. Now, this is what we call in Mason as Muay Thai, a long elbow. Long meaning that when he touches me, for now, for training purposes, training purposes, He's not going to step in with his body. But whenever you elbow, you want to step in. Okay? So what he's going to do is elongate his hip as if he's doing a lunge. And he's just going to keep his hand there and try to make the elbow reach that palm. Notice how this is still up here. Did you notice this? There's a different way of doing an elbow. Go back. His hand is here. He's elongating his elbow into me covering his jaw and his elbows reaching me. Okay, go back again. This here is your extension. A bridge, the purpose behind a bridge is to what? To connect to the other side. To get to the other's motherfucking side, right? That's true. All right, so when he does this elbow shot, he is looking to get to the other side. So why would he do an elbow like this? If I do an elbow like this and I miss him, I have to reach. It takes too long. Also, him elbowing this way makes him grab my hand, pull it to him, and elbow again. Now he can grab my hand again. Elbow again. This whole purpose behind this elbow is long get in your body. So if he's elbowing, his hand already. So if his palms are out, tie fighter's palms are out, your elbow's halfway there. It's halfway there. So he goes here. All you have to do is come up. See that? Look at this body, it's right there. He waits for my body to move. If he was throwing his rear hand, he chops himself in half and salutes. All he has to do is turn his body. And look at his grab. Look at his elbow again. Notice how he has to now come in. Look at his grab again. Look at his knee. So when you elbow, like most of you guys do, looking at YouTube a lot, or looking at UFC fighters, or guys that shuttle box through the UFC stuff, or the Muay Thai guys, he goes That shit is all wrong. You get what I'm saying? Okay. You don't know what you're doing. Now there are, pause, 